how to create drop down menu in GoDaddy website builder hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a drop down menu into your favorite platform which is GoDaddy website builder so all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over uh, godaddy.com then you are going to sign in for your account once you have your your account you are going to get a, the a customer number also a pin then you're going to select your the website and uh, hosting so you are going to select your the website builder if you have already a website so you are going to click on your account click on select uh, my products then you are going to head over the dashboard or your account so you are going to see here everything related to your business from the domains website marketings and additional products and for my business i have already a website i'm going to select it once selected you're going to head over a dashboard for the website now we are going to wait for the loading right there then as you can see the left side or the right side right there you are going to see the status of your website and you can go ahead and edit it from there or you can go ahead and click on this website then you are going to select one of these tasks so i'm going to click on edit website it will open up here the website right there we have at the right side the site navigation the theme editor and also the settings so once you are here you're going simply to add something how we can add that the drop down menu you're going to click on the plus button add a page and now for the page you are not going to use it here it is in either way you're going to need a premium plan to uh, make another page but we have here link to external website link to section on website and we have drop down menu so we are going to select here the menu title we are going to put here more for example then you are going to select the drop down pages that you are going to put here it is dependent on the number of pages that you have and also the pages name we have shop and terms and conditions that are not going to be here so we are going to click on create menu then boom here we have it we have the home and we have the more as you can see we have the terms uh, and conditions and also we have uh, the shop itself so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one